the day. You don't feel good. You go to the doctor and they say, we don't know why you don't feel good, but you're saying, I don't feel good. And they're saying, but we don't know why you don't feel good. Here, take this medication and maybe you will feel better. But taking that medication is not getting to the root of the problem. Our next guest says, even with all the tests out there, the thing that you have to do is listen to the patient to figure out what the diagnosis is. Please welcome Dr. Stephen Hotze, founder of CEO of Hotze Health and Wellness Center. Also joining us is Stacy Harlan and Jason Harlan, her husband. Good morning. All right, Dr. Hotze, this is kind of like that, you know, that hamster on the wheel that we right. talk about where, again, you know you don't feel right. And, and there are tests run and they say, well, we don't know why you don't feel right. Maybe it's up here. And then so we're prescribed all these different medications and things to take care of the issue. All right, Stacy, uh, what was the beginning of your issues? Um, I started, I had cancer. Uh, they removed my thyroid. And then you have to have a period if you don't have any medication. And so extreme weight gain, fatigue, just getting sick, and just not being able to think clearly. And that's yeah. that's yeah. because when you take the thyroid out and then the radio blade it, so there's no thyroid hormone. So for six or eight weeks, she, she's her, it's thyroid, well, thyroid enables your, your cells to produce and use energy. So she's got no energy production and she's just going down, down, down. Yeah, yeah. So that's where the, the weight gain comes because your metabolism is affected in the whole bit. Yes. All right. So then the answer was when you can't really bear with these symptoms anymore. After about 10 years of that, I finally Ten found. 10 years. Yes. Because I kept going because they were recommended. And. You go because that's they're world renowned and all this. You hear this, so but they don't listen to you. Mm -hmm. So um, a coworker of mine told me about his wife going there. I was like, well, it's worth a shot. Yeah. So talked to my husband about it. He's like, yes, go. Please. Go. go. <laughs> <laughs> because the hard part for you as the spouse well, is that you know what your wife mm -hmm. was before, right? And you're watching this whole other person mm -hmm. missing right. out on life. Yeah. No. She. Um, she. Would, I always complain about going to the doctor um, and got no answers. Yeah. Uh, going to Hoetze's clinic, uh, it was a, what, five hour? Yeah, our first Yeah, that's initial. the other thing, Dr. Hoetze, I want people to know is that when they go to your clinic, it's not an in and out type of thing. You really spend time with that patient. You go over a comprehensive kind of health screening, if you will. Yes, there are tests you can take, like blood tests, things like that, but you're listening to the patient. And if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, looks like a duck, sometimes yeah. it's harder to find out with thyroid, but when you actually had your thyroid, it's not working anymore, then you know that's well, replaced. What, what happened really is they put her on synthetic thyroid. Okay, after a period of a couple of months, they put her on synthetic thyroid. She did well for about five years, and then they began to lower the dose. And what did you tell the doctors? I don't feel well. I, I mm -hmm. didn't feel like myself. I gained weight. I was just tired. So she was getting all the Depressed, symptoms. She was getting all the yeah. symptoms of low thyroid were coming back, and then they treated her migraines with what? A low dose of antidepressant. So this yeah. is this is and, a standard deal. Yeah. And that was an everyday yeah. pill for over for about ten years that and, I took that. And I say this over and over again. I was given um, or a prescription for every single symptom that I had, right. which was depression. I, I couldn't sleep at night. I, I you know she was gaining weight. Yeah. So I had yes. antidepressants for everything. I knew not muscle. to take it because I kept saying you're you're trying to medicate my symptoms. I need the problem to be dealt right. with. And that's when you said something as simple as uh, thyroid. thyroid. Okay. And we use so we switched. Uh, Stacy from synthetic thyroid, which we have found in our experience, thousands of guests that have come in using that, that they don't do as well on it as they do on natural desiccated thyroid. Because you can't trick the body. Right. <laughs> yeah. So we like to use the natural thyroid hormone, which is derived from pork gland, but it's identical to the same hormones our body makes. So how did that turn out when you, we put you on that? Um, wonderful. I have energy. I want to be more social. I'm not a recluse anymore. Um, I have a better outlook. And Jason, do you have a new wife? Yeah. Brand new. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also, two months after, I don't take migraines. Yeah, you don't take migraine I medication migraine because anymore. hormones can also cause migraines. Mm -hmm. so, all right, Dr. Hotze, I just want to go back to because I, I can't tell you how many people I run into who, who say, I had all those issues that you had, but they told me nothing was wrong. Road. I had the test. All right, tell us why the, blood, the test doesn't show Okay, this. the long and the short is a blood test measures your hormone level at a certain point and the range is as wide as the Grand Canyon as tall as the Empire State Building 95 percent of the people will always fall within the range that's mm -hmm. what they define as the normal range well 95 percent of the people surely don't feel well and so what you have to do is go by the basal body temperature and usually in thyroid it's going to be low so I would suspect if you have th symptoms of thyroid low energy difficulty with weight don't think clearly joint muscle legs and pains mood swings uh, constipation or bowel problems recurrent infections 
hair falling out, these sort of things. If you have that, check, check your basal body temperature. It should, or your, ba your just your daily temperature, it should be 98.6. And I'll assure you, those people that have the symptoms of low thyroid, they're in the 97s. The average woman we see is 97.2. Yeah. So that's a sign of low thyroid because your body produces energy and the excess energy is given off as heat. And that's what gives our body a temperature. Yeah. So you have a problem with being cold. I was freezing all the time. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Mean, so 80 degrees I. and I was still wrapped up. All right, so there's a lot of information here and people always ask questions about this and they, and they come up to me and they always say did you really feel better I'm like look at me <laughs> <laughs> but absolutely so with something as simple as yes. taking for me t3 t4 right. you have a 2016 wellness summit that's coming up Saturday January the 9th right. from 9 to noon so the JW Marriott Hotel uh, to register go to hotchwc.com slash wellness uh, summit 2016 you can go there and get all kinds of answers to your questions you make it make sense and and, uh, you know, just be on your way to feeling much better. There's the information right up there on the screen. And, of course, for any other information, you can also call 888-473-5531, 888-473-5531 to make your appointment and be on your way Listen, to be one, one healthy. Thing. Stacy got her life back, mm -hmm. and Jason got his wife, wife back. back. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs>